Hey Luke, how you doing? Uh... Oh my gosh, dude, you've been playing on your phone for like a week. A new episode is supposed to come out tomorrow, and you haven't even settled on a topic. The writers have just been playing pool. Mm. You can't just keep on saying eh every time. Uh, you got those Andrew David J games, why don't you talk about those? I mean, you keep on telling him you're gonna talk about them, but you never do. Oh yeah, the dude I know. Um, yeah, I guess I can play some of his games. So are you gonna play them? Eh, maybe later. Now! Okay, so this first game is called An Excursion Through Space and Time. So basically, I go throughout this place and get rid of all the rats and do all the things. Then I report to this king guy and... Oh no, his assistant dude sends me through time and... Oh man, where has that wizard sent me? And it seems like I need to find this guy's flute. So I find it, pick it up, and now I've got some rats to make things like ramps. And this is a puzzle game, nice. Okay, so this part is really simple. Get all the rats, then to wrap all the fuse blocks and get the train out of the way. And now you can go through the portal. This leads you into a rather different looking area. Now we need to get through this mountain. Gather some rats, and now I'm inside the mountain, which is apparently a volcano. But apparently the lava's raising. Crap. So it seems like we're gonna have to climb all the way up while trying to avoid the lava. Or not. Apparently there's a glitch where the lava sometimes does not kill you. This happened on several playthroughs. But hey, it's bound to have bugs. It was only made in a week. That's pretty impressive. Then the next level is this golf thing. Alright, that seems legit. I just gotta get... Golfing. Golf. G golf. Golf to your eyes fall out. Oh yeah, golf. Golf is almost as good as Blow Coca-Cola's new Blow Zero. Golf saved my son from dying of a serious injury caused by a pillow fight from sixth grade. Golf, good. Oh my gosh, um, I really need to get away from golf. Calamixity, a <laughs> nice pun. So in this game, you're gonna have to find the correct ingredients with only a few attempts to do so. Another puzzle game, nice. Okay, so we're starting this off easy. Three ingredients and ten attempts. Circle means something was completely right, square means a misplaced ingredient, and the X means something wasn't supposed to be there at all. One right, two wrong. Ah, uh, so that means there's no cake. And the cherry is all good. And I forgot to mention this, but after failing, a curse is applied to you. This could be slippery hands, inverted mouse controls, and even big hands. These can also be stacked. So you can ha just have, like, whole cans. Which definitely makes it hard to see what you're trying to grab. And then the next thing is just get progressively harder and harder, and it's just really fun. So yeah, that was actually pretty interesting. Um, the mechanics were interesting, and it's not actually that hard once you actually figure out what the heck's going on. I can't really say anything bad, it's just a pretty well thought out game. Um, finally, the posh game? Alright, so it looks like I need to impress these judges. Okay. I need to tap the glass to get everyone's attention. But I'm an introvert! Oh fine, whatever. Now I need to greet the guests. Ugh, whatever. Pull my finger out. Um... Which one? Okay, okay. Last life. Adjust! Just put the monocle on the guy. And there we go. Oh no, I have to toast again. Um, just smack it with some toast, I guess. Ah, hello, young sir. Finger out. You put your finger in, you put your finger out, you put your finger in, and you shake it all about. All right, all right. That was from The Hat Thief's new album coming this spring, The Posh Album. Marvel at The Hat Thief's most excellent songs, including You Spin Me Left Left Round, Always Gonna Give You Up, and his famous collaboration with Larry Finkelmeyer, acting out my life. Quote unquote ad over. So the posh game is pretty good. Sure there's not much variety, but for a game made it in about a week, it's not bad. Though I definitely would suggest adding a few more games. So yeah, I feel like just a few more games could really help it out. You've been muttering to yourself for like six minutes, what's going on?